Guys, this is just such a cool muscle car. I mean, I think it's my favorite muscle car that I've seen in a long time. We now know, well, we think we know the power, performance, and actual architecture of the new Dodge Charger electric muscle car. This will be basically the world's first electric muscle car. It's maybe the best looking car I've ever seen. I know that sounds hyperbolic, but I mean, hell, have a look at this thing. And we also know it'll have 885 horsepower. That's a lot more horsepower than the current Hellcat. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, the all-electric Dodge Charger. Apparently, the base version will have, well, a pretty anemic 402 horsepower, but the top spec motor version will have 885 horsepower, which is... Yeah, it's a lot more horsepower than the current internal combustion engine version. Now, apparently Dodge actually plan on using that same car, which has basically been developed to be a, an EV, but they've slightly changed their plans. They're saying now they're going to actually have a, an internal combustion version, which will not be a V8. It will have a twin turbocharged Hurricane in line six. Now, I personally think a twin turbocharged Hurricane inline six version will just look really slow in comparison to the electric versions. It'll kind of kind of prove to a lot of um, gas fans, petrol fans, just how much better EVs are. That's what I think will happen, but um, I don't know. There's apparently a lot of enthusiasts who are skeptical. A lot of Americans who say they don't want it. They're saying the new Dodge Charger, get lost. Don't want it. It's not gas. It's not petrol. Uh, we don't care. We don't want to see it. But I think there's quite a few people saying the opposite, saying, you know what, this thing could be amazing. So we have new information about the details. When Dodge unveiled the Daytona SRT concept last year, they also said they believed the reason they were going EV was because um, they'd reached, they said this, quote, we've reached the limits of internal combustion engine performance. Uh, in essence, they said the future is electric, not only because of its advantages in terms of, you know, obviously, uh, no emissions, but also because it's simply more powerful, much faster. So some changes have been made to the EV versions based on recent discussions that the drive had with an unnamed source. They claim that there is leaked information regarding the new vehicle. The source claims that there will be three key powertrain versions of the charger on offer. The first two of these will use a 400 volt architecture the entry-level model will be rear-wheel drive with a single electric motor that has 402 horsepower, which is exactly 300 kilowatt. That's, well, less, a little bit less than what Dodge said it would have, which was 455 horsepower or 340 kilowatt, but that's the cheapest version. That's the least powerful version. However, apparently another version, the mid-spec, will have 670 horsepower. That's 500 kilowatt and it will be all-wheel drive. So it'll be probably the fastest Dodge Charger ever made. All-wheel drive, 500 kilowatt or 670 horsepower. That's gonna be incredibly quick, but it won't be the quickest because actually the flagship version will have eight an 800 volt architecture. So much faster charging, very likely. And it will have two motors putting out 885 horsepower. That's a ridiculous amount of power. Now, some people are saying they think there's gonna be three motors. That's the reason for the 885 horsepower number. So two motors at the back and one at the front, a little bit like a Tesla Model S Plaid or Model X Plaid. Don't know if that's true. There could be even a quad motor version. Imagine that, imagine how insane that would be a four motor version. This would be, I just blow the doors off the rear wheel drive gasoline V6 twin turbocharged version. That might sound loud, but it's just not gonna go very fast in comparison to this. Anyway, the report says, that there will actually be E Stage 1 and E Stage 2 upgrade packages that will enable you to unlock more power. So those packages will lift power for entry-level and mid-range models with a special crystal key. Additionally, Dodge said the Dodge Direct Connection upgrades will be offered for the 800 volt model as well, known as the SRT Banshee. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at what I think is the SRT Banshee here, guys, in this image. Damn, whoever designed that, give them a raise. I mean, this thing looks amazing. Anyway, Dodge and these upgrades would give the base model 495 horsepowers, 
with the E Stage 1 and 535 horsepower with the E Stage 2. The mid range model will start at 590 horsepower and increase to 630 horsepower with E Stage 1 and 670 horsepower with the E Stage 2 upgrades. You know, it's so easy to boost power drastically from an electric vehicle, electric performance cars. Much, much harder to get those kind of performance increases in internal combustion engine vehicles. Now, the other thing is that Dodge do plan on these things sounding like muscle cars. So they won't be quiet like electric cars. Well, they will. You have the choice of having no noise, but then you also have an option of having um, speakers essentially make this thing sound like there's noise coming from the exhaust, which is what Fiat do with the 500e A bath. Now, initially I thought it was a bit of a, uh, like a, a joke. Um, it was sort of something silly, but actually it sounded good. And even though I knew it was fake, I still really liked hearing the sound. So maybe this will work. Maybe having artificial noises for EVs, maybe it really will work. I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.